Time for another stock review. This time we are talking solar, Sunova Energy, N-O-V-A. In this review, we're going to look at the balance sheet, the profit, the loss, the inside trading, who's buying on the inside, who's selling on the inside. We're also going to give you a profitability score, a solvency score, the uh, short interest, the, the website, comparing it to the S&P 500, latest news, uh, stuff that's going on around the company. You don't want to miss it. Uh, full disclosure, I don't own this stock. I don't own any stock. I only own 100% of my portfolio, the S&P 500. So you know my reviews are honest, uh, impartial, unbiased, and that's why all of my reviews rank on uh, YouTube and Google. Many of my stocks rank number one on YouTube and Google in the world, and I am now... Uh, Every single one of my reviews, over a hundred now, has made it onto Alpha Spread, uh, which is the most advanced algorithmic software. Unbiased, real, above CNN, Bloomberg, Mad Money, you name it, Motley Fool, miles ahead of that one. And uh, the information is real and honest. And uh, we also accompany this series of reviews with Meet the CEO as well. Uh, so if any of my uh, investors are watching this now who'd like to have uh, uh, Sunover on the show and uh, show the world how great they are and hear about the story. I give everyone the chance. I don't uh, short stocks. I've never have. I don't do options. I just own the S&P. I want to bring great businesses that employ people, do great things, bring great innovation to the world. I'm here to help and support all of those good and great businesses. So if they are listening to me and want to be on the show, uh, look below in the description of this video. There is a Meet the CEO invitation. My investors will go out now, That well, I call them the Lucas Aid. They will go out and they will tag this video and the Meet the CEO invitation into, into, into their social media. Perhaps they'll email it to Investor Relations and uh, we'll hear from the CEO. That's how we do it. I don't email, message anyone. I never sell myself. My policy is undersell and overdeliver always. My Lucas aides do that for me. They go out and get our CEOs on the show. So if you'd like to do that, then you can. All right. Have you tapped the like button so far? Have you shared this video out? Have you subscribed to the channel? We also have our extras channel as well. Look below in the description of the video for our extras behind the scenes 24 hour chat, which accompanies this channel. Okay, Sunover, what is it? Well, obviously it's solar, but uh, there's lots of solar companies around. Why would you buy this one? What's the difference? Stocks beat up at the moment. Intrinsic value, we'll do all that right now. Well, let's start. Start off nice and basic. You can see that the, uh, the, the stock price had a rally as all solar did, and then we've had a uh, solar drop away. We've covered extensively other solar companies like Enphase Energy, very good company, uh, done very well. Everyone ended up getting sold off. Why? Because interest rates were high. No one's putting solar on their roofs. It's an expensive product. Uh, you know, it's just the way it is. I have it firsthand. I have my house in England off the grid. It's on it's on solar. I love it. My, my, I actually even earn money from the government for the power I produce, even though I use it. It's pretty incredible, really. Uh, so there you go. I love it. And remember, solar today is not about direct sunlight. It's passive uh, ambient sunlight. And with batteries, when it's dark, it's, it's, it's a brilliant solution. Everyone should have it. I love it. They want to come put solar panels on our, our house here in Texas. Feel free and I'll make a review on it. I'd love it. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So you can see the stock price has been beat up recently. Why? Well, we'll cover all that in the in, later on in the video. But right now, Son of Energy is an energy service com company uh, which engages in the provision of uh, responsive energy management solutions. The firm also offers solar energy products and services. The company was founded by William Jackson Berger in 2012 and is headquartered in Houston, Texas, just down the road from me. I'm in Dallas. Definitely come around and put solar panels on my roof. I would make you a great review and it would rank number one on YouTube and Google and everybody would love it. <laughs> Absolutely great. Just I just can't afford to have it done here in Texas. It's, it's a lot more expensive than it is in England. I don't know why. The listed name is Nova, Sunova Energy. All right. Uh, William Jackson Berger, you are invited on my show. Hopefully you'll reach out to me or my investors will reach out to you uh, and uh, get you on the show. Love to hear about your company. Uh, Houston, Texas, 2012. 
If you're buying it on margin, it's a 40% uh, maintenance requirement, so it's regarded as high risk or mid-risk rather. Mid-risk is fair. Uh, market cap, 877 million. It's a small company, under a billion. 52-week um, high, $24.56. 52-week low, $6.50. We do have volatility there. No surprise. Uh, all, the, all these stocks are down at the moment, but they're all going to do well in the summer. Not because it's the summer. Remember, all year round is ambient light, and particularly here in Texas, massive houses with big roofs. People can power their houses dead easy with solar. I've got a house a fraction of the size of our house here in Texas, and it powers my house absolutely fine. So that's really good. Uh, so later in the year, we're going to see solar go up. We're already seeing signs of it now. So why is this stock down at the moment? Well, all stocks are in this sector, all going to do well later in the year. Okay, uh, the volume today is uh, 3.97. Average volume is 11. So it's down on volume today. Scrolling on down through our review. Now, Morningstar, this is what they say. I don't use their reviews. They're all paid and sponsored and God knows what else. I don't use them. I use my own analysis and give it to you unpaid for, unsponsored as, as it is. So you can see we've been going kind of sideways for a while, missing on earnings. No surprise. We expect to miss on earnings. We've gone down now. We missed on earnings big time. Uh, as you can see, expected to do negative 18 cents a share and did a massive loss of 142. Huge loss. Well, that could be a massive opportunity as the stock has been pummeled to buy it now. It's, uh, but it's up to date 10%, by the way. So it's already starting to recover from that massive drop. That's what can happen after a, a miss on an earnings. The stock can be oversold. And with solar, it always reacts, overreacts. The whole market overreacts upward and downward. And we've already had a pump back a little bit. If we look at the stock price today, it's up 9.8. So if we look over the over the month, it's still down 34%. Still an opportunity to buy this if, if the balance sheet adds up. And we'll come to all the balance sheet and the numbers and the inside trading and short position later in the video. So there you go. Have you tapped the like button yet? Have you subscribed? If you've done all the good stuff, all right, okay, here we go. Um, let's move on up now then. Um, Sunrun. Obviously, we've got other companies here that uh, investors also invest in. I've not done Sunrun. I don't know. Plug Power, Hydrogen, great company. Sadly, a lot of Russian oligarchs manipulating this. They came on and manipulated my show. Numbers went through the roof. I got uh, all kinds of horrible emails and messages because they only want to promote the stock and it's not about the company or the benefit of hydrogen. It's about their greed. And a lot of, lot of uh, people, uh, a lot of those Russian oligarchs are ruining the stock price for plug. It's a great company, like what they're doing, just don't like some of the investors. Many, many investors I'm sure are great, but uh, there is lots of manipulation there. Enphase Energy, one of the leaders, no doubt about it. One of the best balance sheets you'll ever see on the stock market. Great. Um, no, no surprise they're back up. Uh, fuel Cell, uh, I've not done a review on that for quite a while. Blink Charging, not for a long time. And Sun Power, I'm not familiar with that one. All right, so there you go. Let's move now over and look at the news and see what we can find. So first of all, can we uh, make money from the stock? Do the numbers add up? Well, let's put our uh, our head in our chin, on our on, in our hand and try to look like we know what we're talking about. Count up some money. Does it all stack up? Well, we're going to find out now. Before we come to the major numbers, let's look at the website and the latest news around the stock. First of all, here's the website, as you'd expect. Nice, bright, sunny website showing you the panels, uh, as you can see here. Did you also know that not only do uh, solar panels provide you with free electric and earn money um, if you can get paid for it, um, if you go into a battery pack, they can power it after the when the sun goes down. But also, they actually protect your roof from hail. Uh, so if you live in an area where there's hailstones, uh, these panels actually protect your roof. So I don't know if you knew that, but uh, yeah, they're much tr stronger than um, than what people have on their roofs. Shingle. Don't know why people in Texas have this silly shingles and it always gets busted when it hails. Just have a 
Just have a tin roof and it's fine. But if you put solar on your roof, you protect from hail. So it pays for itself anyway. Uh, that's another another thing. Right, the website looks at what we'd expect from a solar website, of course. Um, interesting stuff. A lot of stock footage. Uh, a lot of stock footage. Um, but there you go. Uh, I, I prefer when a website shows you... Um, uh, you know, when it shows you its actual photographs rather than stock footage. But that's, you know, fine. Um, nearly everyone does. I try to use original footage on my... In fact, I do all the time use original footage on my on my uh, website. Anyway, uh, Generac, you look look here. Um, we can... Uh, much better, by the way, um, powering your house with batteries than it is, um, than it is with... Um, uh, diesel generators because uh, you can even power your, you can even power your house from your EV now. If you get a cyber truck, you can power your house from that. So you charge up your house, you charge up your cyber truck with your solar, and then your car can charge your house up when if there's a power cut and your batteries have gone flat. Pretty clever, isn't it? Anyway, without further ado, let's look at the latest news. Sunover generates quotes faster to bring solar power to more homes. Uh, we've got some uh, other news here. Sunover's dedication to consumer pr uh, protection and ethical business practices. I've got some latest news I'm going to bring you in a second. Son of it expands cutting-edge global command centre, redefining customer service in the solar industry. And lastly, Son of it uh, inks $3 billion deal with Department of Energy to expand solar access to disadvantaged communities. What to... Oh, there we go. Partners with Seeding Mercy to provide mini-grids in South Sudan. Wonderful, I like that. I've been all over uh, Sudan and Africa and everywhere, and I can appreciate how that would really help them. I've done lots of fundraising on my channel, my music channel, so I'd love to hear about that. If you want help with that, uh, let me know, and uh, I do fundraising all the time. Anyway, correcting and replacing Lumen's smart electrical panel selected by Sonova to supercharge its solar and storage offering. This is latest news. Lumen Smart Panel Integration provides Sunover uh, adaptive home. Customers with whole home backup connect extended battery life and energy savings through intelligent load management. Now, I'd like to know about if they have, uh, uh, if they have uh, optimizers on their solar panels, because if you have uh, solar panels without optimization and one goes down, the whole series go down. Whereas if you have an independently uh, uh, optimized panels, like I do in England, one can be running a bit low, but all the rest are working perfectly independently. That's the way to go. And I'd like to know more from the company. Hopefully they'll call into the show and make a video with me and we'll learn about that. Right, there's some latest news. Let's go and see now if um, if all the figures add up and uh, if we can actually make some money from the stock, shall we? Is it an investment? Well, let's go over. Before we do the back test on the S&P, we're going to look at the intrinsic value. Have you tapped the like button yet? Have you uh, clicked subscribe and ring the bell? Brilliant. Fantastic. Now, if, you, if you're watching this video and you'd like to engage and chat, we are in members only mode, but on the extras channel, which runs live, you can uh, chat there. There's unedited conversation on the extras channel. It also provides um, extra content when I'm off air and it also um, provides uh, extra shows when we clash and do two shows at once. So uh, you might want to join, uh, subscribe to that channel as well, because tonight we're covering the earnings of um, uh, of uh, Soundhound. I nearly forgot then. Right, let's look at the intrinsic value. 80% undervalued. No surprise with solar at the moment. All solar that's been beaten up due to interest rates, the industry selling off is undervalued. Uh, but we have to say, even though we've got an 80% um undervaluation. And let me give you the intrinsic, what it, what is intrinsic value? If you want to pause the video there, you can uh, find out what intrinsic value is. Okay. We do have uh, a slight warning. Nova's intrinsic value is based upon multiples and doesn't use DCF. That's just because we don't have the information. We can only provide and calculate what we have. Uh, can we run a back test? Let's analyze it in real time. Valuation back test profit thirty three percent correlation that's between the price and the valuation nine percent so that gives you an idea of uh, the the valuation back test that was done in real time. Let's look at the financials. 
We've done a we've done a, a, a poll on our channel, and ninety percent of eight, I think eighty percent, eighty five percent said they'd never read the balance sheet. Crazy, right? Well, read the balance sheet and you'll never lose money. Well, nine times out of ten, you won't. Right, revenue is seven hundred and twenty million. Revenue uh, is slightly down on the previous. Uh, um, range. However, expecting it to increase nicely th through 24, through 25, through 26. Not an S curve. An S, an S curve is like this, but doing very nicely, moving up nicely. That's what we anticipate happening. That's good. Operating income is down 39%, but we're now expecting things to turn around. Like I said, it's in the summer, Looking, looking a lot, lot better. Operating income could turn positive. Net income, again, down on the most recent range, down 61%. But now we're expecting things to turn around. This could be a good time to buy, guys. Free cash flow, down 14%. We can't project that. And capital expenditure, we're spending money on the business. As long as we're spending money on the business and improving the business, not giving ourselves pay rise, it gets my vote. Free cash flow up 9% on the most recent range. Good. Okay. Now then, this is where you decide whether you buy this company or not. We like solar. We've seen some great news. We've heard the news. We've seen the website, stuff that's going on. We like all of that. But is the bit, because we, and we know solar is going to do well. We know solar is the future, right? But do we have enough cash to, to build the business? Do we have to go to the shareholder? Well, the good news is it's not a penny stock right now and it's not going to be delisted. So there's no reason to reverse split. There's no reason to go to the, the shareholder for a raise if we've got cash and if the balance sheet is good. So let's find out. That's all you need to know, uh, uh, really, if you're going to buy it or not. 11%, sorry, 11.3 billion in assets. 212 million is in cash. So we do have some cash uh, and our assets is more than our liabilities, but only just, but only just. We're just on the right side of it. Um, so um, balance sheet is okay. We have some cash. We would, we would have liked some more and we certainly hope we don't have uh, huge amounts of debt, long-term debt. 9.8 billion on liabilities. Long-term debt, ouch, 7 billion. So we have a lot of debt. 71% of our liabilities is long-term debt. Now, there is a green positive outlook to that because when interest rates come down, it'll be a catalyst for the price. We expect profits to go up. We expect sales to go up and we expect interest rates to come down. So their debt position, which is bringing the stock down, it doesn't look great. It's not a great balance sheet. It's not the worst balance sheet I've seen. They certainly have less liabilities than assets and their, lib and their debt position is 71%, not 100%. However, it's a sticky, it's a sticky balance sheet. But because the business has been investing, it's kind of expected. Uh, it's a relatively new business. Um, we've got um, a, a, a catalyst in the summer when things are going to ramp up quickly, plus interest rates coming down. So there's two good things all happening at once, pulling in the same direction. Uh, I, you know, I, I I'm not going to sell the company to you. I'm not going to talk it up. I'm not going to promote it. No one sponsors me to say anything. Um uh, and even if they offered me money, I wouldn't take it anyway. But, uh, you know, I've got to tell, I, I care about my viewers. Um, there there could be better business, there could be better solar businesses out there, like Enphase, at least it was when it was $70. It's now jumped to 123 Their balance sheet is much stronger than this. However, this has got a much lower stock price. It's got a much potentially a much greater gain. Let's look at the, uh, the, the targets later on in the video. Gross margins, they've been, uh, they're 41%. You want to compare that to the competition like uh, Solar Edge or compare to, um, compare to Enphase. Uh, and I will share with you uh, that link in a minute and you can go and compare which one has got the best margins. Um, here is the worry, as I said. Here is my lowest solvency score I have seen. I have reviewed over 100 stocks. 
Could you do a review on Global Star? Many <laughs> thanks. For Thank you. Hands. I will reply to you at the end of the, the video. Uh, solvency score uh, is 14. I don't think I've seen a lower solvency score of, of all the hundred reviews I've done. They need some money. They got to pay their debts down. Now, like I said, in the summer, this could be, this could be great. Stock uh, uh, earnings go up, margins uh, improve, rates come down, interest payments come down. This could be a catalyst. You could see it that way, or you could see it 14%. That's very low. Money's running out. They're going to come to the shareholder. They're going to need to raise money. Uh, that is a very low score indeed. Uh, I, you know, I want to say great things. I want to promote the company. I want to, but I won't do that over my viewers. There are better opportunities. There are solar companies that are far higher than this um, because you could you could easily have um, end phase energy buy them, just swallow them up. Um, if they want more capacity, they could take over a company like this. Um, now that's that in itself can be good for the stock price potentially, maybe. But you know, uh, the company at the moment as an investment uh, is it's very high risk. Very high risk. Profitability is 37. Now, that's not so bad. Profitability is 37. We've got a good uh, three-year growth, good positive growth, good uh, growth forecast. You know, that's looking good. They're just running out of money. But, you know, a lot of, a lot of solar companies are going to go bust and Enphase are going to own, are going to take over a lot. So bear that in mind. What do Wall Street say? No surprise, really. Wall Street say 184%. Now you're not going to get that within 12 months on end phase. End phase is a 3x, 300% over the next few years. You're not going to get a hundred, you're not going to get 407% uh, in, in a year on end phase. No chance at all. But you can get that with Nova if it survives and does well, potentially. These are forecasts, right? Um even a worst case scenario is 46%, which is above the S&P, right? There's the competition. Next year, Energy uh, is also in there. They, they also provide a dividend, another great company. Um, uh, I've owned that in the past. Right now, though, I don't own any stocks to be impartial and, and uh, unbiased. But, uh, you know, there you go. Um, I would look at the competition you can use my link. It's below in the description of this video. Uh, I'll give it above my head as well when this video comes out. Uh, use uh, my software to, to 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 have a look and see what you pref see what you think. Now then, we've had some selling as well from the insiders. The good news is uh, they, they they sold back in August, not sold recently. They knew what was coming. In other words, they knew there was a downturn. Well, everybody did. Anyone who researches solar like I do knows that. So, you know, you can't blame them for selling. They took a profit. I mean, you know, then then they got money to buy back. They're an investor just like you, you know. They're not no point is holding on the stock and losing money. But they also haven't bought any stock either at the moment, either. So but again, that can be also good because if you buy in before they buy in, then the price goes up. If they've already bought in, there's already been the pop. So uh, what you're looking for is you're looking to buy in before they buy in. Are they likely to buy in now? Well, they've just sold in August. Stock's down. Maybe. We've seen Enphase start buying back their stock for the same reason. Now then, that's the problem. 40% short interest. Masses. Huge. Anything over 20% is excessive. GameStop uh, did, did that historic um, short squeeze when it had volume and 100% short interest. 40% is absolutely extreme on steroids. It's right there. It's primed for a short squeeze. Absolutely. But what it needs, it needs positive sentiment, Good news, that will come in the summer and lots of volume buying it, not shorting it and selling it. All right, do we have that? Well, 
Uh, I'm not going to share with you at Sunover's uh, uh, information here. This was two months ago. Mine's going to be much more, much more up to date. There's no point. If that was if that was a week ago, I would share it with you, but it really isn't. So there's no point. Um, and uh, so, so there we go. What is the volume? Uh, let me look at the volume right now and see if we've got volume building. Sunover. Let's have a look. Uh, if we scroll down and look at the average volume. Um, 9 million overnight volume, 22,000. Nope. No, 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 no volume here. No volume here at all to drive that up. We need volume. We need four or five times like 90 million. We've got 9 million average. We like 90 million, four or five times, you know, well, maybe not as much as 90 million, maybe like uh, 45 million, four or five times at least. And we've got, Four, we've got uh, we've got um, a volume of four point seven nine overnight with twenty two thousand. So five million, way down. No short squeeze. So don't look at don't get it, don't look out for that. No one's uh, suddenly um, buying the stock. There's nothing there to scare off the shorters at the moment. Right. Let's look at sentiment. Have we got any sentiment around the stock? Um, any good news on the way? Well, let's have a look. Over the last 90 days, just neutral. A bit of negative, a bit of positive, mainly neutral. 84. Um, neutral news over 30 days. It, it, the, the negative news is dying away. Oh, there you go. So over the last 90, 37 and today, the negative news has faded away, but no good news. No good news yet. We need the good news for the short squeeze. Otherwise, we're just going to go sideways or up a little bit. But there you go. Now then, let's look at um, how it compares to the S&P for a back test. So tap the like button, subscribe, ring the bell, do that. Also look below in the description and find my extras channel for extra content and uh, chat during these uh, members only uh, chats as well. Lots of extra stuff for you. Um, but now let's go and look. Can we make money from this stock? Is it a good investment? Well, let me share with you my final bit of B-roll. What should I use this time? There you go, that one. There you go. We're dropping money all over the place. All right, let's have a little look. Can we make money from this company. If we'd bought the S&P in 2020, four years ago, in red, we would be from 10,000 to nearly 16 grand. Very nice indeed. If we'd bought, if we'd bought, uh... Hypers has become a member. Thank you very much indeed. I'll give you your perks at the end uh, of this video. If we had, uh, if we bought Sunover, we would now be down from 10 grand to 9,400 uh, 10,000 down to 9,400 over the period. Now it did pop up. If you bought it here, of course, you're down a big, you know, a big chunk of change. But if you bought it in 2020, you're back, well, just under where you started from. Now, this was expected. Everybody bought this because uh, everyone had stimulus checks. That's when everyone was buying Robinhood, GameStop, Tesla, Solar, AI, the future. Up oh, whoopty woo, everything's going to go up forever. And it did for a while, and then it all went, hang on a minute, it, we can't sustain this, and it all come crashing back down again. That's what happens. So is is it a buy right now? Well, let me wrap up this video. Um, I like solar. However, not all solar businesses are going to remain in business. For me, one of the best is Enphase. I also like um, Next Era Energy, also provides a great dividend. Very good company. Um, that's two solid uh, solar companies. You can also buy an ETF, a basket of solar companies, because not all solar companies are going to be around forever. Some of them are going to go bankrupt. Some of them are going to get bought out. It's hard to choose the winner. Um, I'd love to say great things about this business, but they are running out of cash. They're going to have to go and find some reinvestment. However, that also presents opportunity uh, for you because the stock price is down. It's not recovered yet. We've got a not great balance sheet, but we can improve on that in the summer. Things can ramp up if they can sell their products. No reason why they won't. Enphase can't supply it all uh, and others. It's like Tesla. They can't supply all the EV cars for everybody. Uh, on top of that, uh, if your interest rates come down, 
then there's a catalyst there as well. So there's lots of potential here, um, but it's very risky. There are others with, I think, far less risk, far better balance sheets who are definitely going to succeed. Will this company succeed? We don't know. But that's why it's cheaper. That's why it's down. Maybe have a small allocation to this and see what happens. Keep reviewing it. Keep looking at the news. So is it a buy from me? I can't say it's a buy. I can't say it's a buy because if the balance sheet was good and they had the stock price down, but they had some money behind them and didn't need to go to the investor for a raise, then I'd say it's a potential buy. However, that, that balance sheet and that debt position is really quite monstrous and um, they could struggle even in a booming economy for solar, which will come later this year and even interest rates coming down. Um, as we expect, if interest rates don't come down, which they are, we do believe they will, the company would really be in trouble. So that's my final review. I can't say it's a buy or a sell at this point. Uh, further further study is required, potentially better opportunities out there, but you are buying a stock that is beat up. You could get it for a, a good price. Um, it's where it was in 2020 before the industry was really taking off. It's about to take off this year. Maybe a, a, an allocation would be wise. Um, hopefully we'll hear from the CEO and they could tell me that they've got lots of customers and uh, lots of extra money coming in from outside investment. Who knows? Without going to the shareholder. Click above my head for all the links. If you want my alpha spread or my review software, you can have it uh, for free. Or you can get uh, the premium version. My members get a lifetime discount. Down below in the description, you'll find all the links. The Meet the CEO invitation video. If you want to tag this video in and, and e uh, invite the CEO, there's a video there for you. It's like your letter to the CEO through investor relations or through social media. Um, and uh, and also our extras channel, which is running right now, where everyone can talk 24 hours a day when we are in members mode, behind the scenes looks. That's my extras channel. That's on the homepage of this channel also below as well. There you go. And over here, I'll put all my reviews. I've done over 100 now. And uh, we rank, we'll probably rank number one on this stock as well, as we, as we do for most of our stocks now. We even rank now for the word stock. Can you believe it? So I would expect within about, five, six years, we should be at 10 million subscribers, which will make us the biggest financial channel in the world, bigger than Bloomberg and all the rest of it. So very exciting stuff. That's it from me. Uh, another review for one of our members. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.